Okay, hi again, so let's continue, okay? Our next task is this. So what do you need to do here? Look here, you have a picture, yeah? And under the picture, you have three words. These words are all very similar, okay? They're usually diff different in just one or two sounds, but the third is the same or something like that. Okay, so for example here, uh, I will just come a bit closer so you can see. Hopefully you have a picture of a mat, okay? And then you have words, m -et, mat. Is this a mat? No. Then, you, so this is not the word that you need. M -et, mat, this is the word that you need and you have it here. Now, of course, here it's given like this in these um, dotted lines, so you can trace it over. The last word was m -an, man, which is also not what is shown in this picture, okay? So what do you need to do? You need to go through all of these words, okay? Take your time, try to read them, so, uh, you figure out which of these words is the right one, okay? So I'm going to try to do this for the next picture, okay? Um, I'm gonna use my beautiful blue Sharpie. So let's go, I hope you can see well, it says. So first of all, this is obviously a picture of a dog, and then it says, l -og, log, no, this is not what I need. d -i -g, dig. No, this is not what I need. D -o -g, dog, this is what I need. So I'm going to write this word here. Okay, so guys, I'm writing upside down. It's going to be hard for me. Oh, not that bad, okay? So this is what you need to do. Read our three. You can maybe circle the one that you need so you don't forget and write it here. Okay, so just... Uh, I'm going to tell you what's in each of these pictures just in case you're not sure. Okay, so, okay, Matt and Dog, we know a cup, egg, net, ant, hen, bus, sun. Very easy. One more time cup, egg, net, ant, uh, hen, bus, and sun. Okay, I think you can do that. And. Then comes your very last task. So you see what happens when you use a Sharpie or a marker. This is why I always say use a pencil or a colored pencil, but I didn't follow my own advice. So here I have a pencil now. So what happens here, um, similar to this, but it's much easier, okay? Uh, because uh, the words are shorter, yeah? They're not as long, okay? So look, you have a hat here. Look at these letters that you have. H -at hat, okay? So obviously you see that you need to trace over all of these letters. That's the first step. So you trace over the letters. When you do that, you're going to get a word, okay? Here is the word hat, so you would draw a hat. But that is already done. So let's take a look at the next one. You have a pen. pen. Yes? So you first trace over the word, when you get the word, you read it, and then you draw a pen, okay? Again, for this, if you want, you can use colored pencils, if it's more interesting for you like that. Uh, but uh, please, a good idea is not to use a Sharpies or markers because they leave the trace on the other side, okay? I think all of these words are going to be super easy for you to read. So once you're done with that, if you have the whole book uh, printed out for you already, you're going to have here for the very end, uh, tracing a little bit number three, and then you're done with your workbook number three. You can put it on your shelf, you can color in the pictures, uh, also a very nice idea. Maybe over the weekend, you can organize a reading for your family so you can show them what you've done in this book and read all the words to them so they can see what a good reader you've become, okay? So, that is it when it comes to that. And then on Monday, you're going to get another video where we're not gonna start a new sound. We're going to talk about rhymes, why? Because on Tuesday, when we have our Zoom, the next sound that we're going to learn is going to be a long vowel. 
vowels. So remember, we talked about short vowels, and now soon we're going to start learning something which is called long vowels. Um, <laughs> I think you're gonna love it. Okay, so the last thing you go well after you've done all of these work, all of this work. Okay, uh, yesterday I showed you this. Uh, short vowel machine. So let me see how I can hold this so you can see it well. well. Short vowel machine for sound A, short vowel. This one now is the same thing, but the sound is A. And there's a little spider uh, making a, a web. Okay, so what can you see here? Letter W, uh, sound W, is something that we maybe didn't learn, okay? So even if you're like, okay, those are just three letter words, we know all the short vowels, that's super easy for me, that is great. But this is also good because it's going to show you in advance what are some sounds that we are still to, we, that we are yet to learn, okay? So it's kind of practicing in advance. So when we come to letter of uh, well, you're already familiar with it and we learn it super quick, okay? So remember about this little activity that here you have like these two little buttons, no, levers. And when you click on them, the letter changes. Oh. Oh no! So this is the word jet. 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 Okay. jet. okay, and then there are many more examples you can make just by clicking these two things, which will show up soon, uh, and you can get new words. Now, we today uh, for today I didn't send you just for E, I also am sending for E. Is something that you eat together with your chips Dip. or crisps. You know how you call them. Dip. Okay, so now I'm going to try to change the last sound. Bye-bye, P. And we got G with sound G. And the word is the E, G, dig. And the teddy is digging in the ground. Dig. Dig. Okay. So, you have this. Um, to enjoy yourselves, okay? So guys, do your tasks and I'll see you once you're done with that for your math lesson. See you soon, bye-bye.